So this is your host Steve from the back coming at you again with another, with another buck wild and crazy rant. <laughs> Raw and unscripted as always. So on this channel, you guys, we talk about the uh, the occult. We talk about cryptozoology. Uh, we talk about spirituality spirituality on this channel, but um, we do have fun on this channel, and we often talk about you know the kink as well as the fringe and the cringe in the occult but um <laughs> you know on this channel we celebrate the adult film industry we celebrate you know porn stars both amateur and you know professional um but on this channel see sometimes people don't really have like a strong bio and you know, I feel like some of these people don't get the recognition that they really should. So, what's her name? Uh, Georgia Peach Gilf or Georgia Peach Granny or whatever, you know, name that you guys know her by, if you even know about this person, does not get the recognition that she deserves. So, normally I would do like a uh, actual, uh, bio what like like full bio on somebody and you know do like a cover video or whatever a cover uh I wouldn't say story because it doesn't take that long you know to explain these people's background and stuff um but on this channel <laughs> you know we we give people the proper validation that they actually deserve you know it doesn't really matter if, uh, you know, in, in this modern day society, and I'm, I'm gonna go into this more in this video, in this modern day society, how, like, you know, so many people are literal consumers of people's content, business, you know, and stuff like that, but then there's this, uh, this sort of, I don't know what to call it, it's like a, uh, a, a cultural stigma, if you will, which makes sense, because we live in a world that's like a professional world. We live in a world where there's a such thing, you know, like this HR business, you know, so it's like, <laughs> you know, you, you don't bring this type of stuff into the business realm, you know, obviously, you know, to, unless, you, unless that's what the business is, you know, you don't bring all this stuff into, like, uh, business, and, you know, there is a, uh, how do I say it? there's an etiquette that you're supposed to have that you should have you know in the business world so obviously this is in the business world but the funny thing is <laughs> you know I see these videos and like I see people bash on people sometimes and I just shake my head like oh come on you guys all this is is clout chasing you guys really don't have like if you're well if you're really rational I don't think you have such a uh how do I say this? Like, you guys probably don't have such a big issue with some of these people. It's just that you want to make content, which is understandable. So you're going to cover things. You're going to bash people. Just like this whole... I'm going to talk about this, right? This whole Adam22, uh, a Lena the Plug situation. And you guys are crazy on the internet. You guys keep going in on this man. Like, you guys are going in on Adam... And, your, and his wife, and, he, and you guys need to, you need to stop, really, because it's, it's messed up. I'm just going to keep it real. It's messed up, because, um, now, you could say whatever you want about the situation that happened, but you have to realize that, like, a financial move is a financial move, okay? You can speculate all you want about, like, someone's personal life, the, the relationship itself, their emotions. You can speculate. You can say that it was greedy. There's regret. You can say all these things. And even if some of that is true, the problem with this is, is you guys need to lay off. You guys are out of your goddamn mind. Like, let me ask you this. Even me being a person that feels strongly about things and gets annoyed with people and gets actually downright angry with people in a very vicious way, even sometimes to like murderous degrees, I know when to stop and I know how far to go. Like I know not to just like, 
uh, what's the word, um, completely, like, try to defund someone almost, like, like, to just, you know, to ridicule someone so much to the point to where it's, like, it's, you're beating a dead horse and you're out of your mind, like, let me ask you this, do you insult people like that in your day-to-day -day life, like, I mean, I don't even go to the lengths, like, literally, there, there's people I don't like, but I do not hound people and go, like, bully or, I, I do not do anything like that. You know, I avoid people. If I don't like people, I tend to avoid them. I don't. I, I, what, you people are crazy. Like you are, you are out of your mind with this whole. Uh, I I would even call it like a campaign, like the, that. You guys just um, ridicule these people for doing something, and pretty much it's just you're just covering a story, the same story that's been covered a thousand times in a different package because you're just trying to get views that's all it really is you know you're just you're just trying so you figure let's just you're gonna jump right on the train you're just gonna bash this person <laughs> oh it's, this is, and it's it's actually disgusting like now do i agree 100 percent with like certain things people do like no or, or i mean i don't have a problem with it but it's just i wouldn't do it because i'm just a, i'm a different person you know um but you know, you gotta leave these people alone. You know, just leave them alone. Like, stop. you guys need to stop. You guys are out of control with this. Uh, and, you know, that's something I wanted to talk about on this video. You know, aside from doing like a sort of short, uh, not cover, but just, just to talk about this uh, mature, amateur, gilf, Georgia Peach lady, which is is great actually you know this this lady is should be should be legendary but i don't think a lot of people know about her but eh, you know um but you know you guys you guys need to stop like and i, I like I, I get that this is part of society like people have you know their social norms so obviously when you see a couple like <laughs> you know Lena the Plug and Adam Twenty Two. It's it, it, it's kind of like open season for all types of jokes, but on, on the same coin, it's like you have to realize, you know, these people are making choices. No one is forcing them to do anything. Like so, you got to realize there has to be. You have you're you're kind of missing a big picture there. You know, when you when you start with the ridicule, you're missing a really big part of that picture because you got to understand, you know. If people come to a certain place to where they feel secure enough that they are going to make those type of moves, you know, uh, then then that's just fine. I mean, it's nothing should be wrong with it. You got to separate the fact that like no normal normal people, and I'm not saying that in an insulting way. I'm just saying just realistically, myself included. You know, like I may be an abnormal person, but there's no way in hell like I'm going to. I'm not going to pimp my girl out. I'm not going to pimp my wife. I'm not going to be a swinger. I'm not going to be that. That's just like not even a thought in the back. Like it's, it's, it's just a total no. Like there's just no way that that's most people. But you have to understand to try to like say, oh, this is like degeneracy. This is well, you're kind of missing the point, really, when you start going. Because see, I look at it like this. Now, when you want to talk about real, true degeneracy, there is a distinct difference, okay? A person that is unaccountable and incompetent, more or less, you're, that's, you're starting to get into the realm of degeneracy. A person who is a business person who makes business moves and decisions and is secure enough in themselves to make such a drastic decision, <laughs> that is not by any means uh degeneracy in my opinion by any means you know that is that is business you have to realize like you have to really separate it okay now these losers that are out here that can't control themselves that have all types of habits and all this and all this and they, they can't you know and they just can't ever make good with anything so they're not even they can never even get into the position to have what these people have being, you know, this couple to have what they have to make such wild, this wild decision because they do not have the discipline, nor the talent, nor the ethics, nor anything to get in that position.
to even make those decisions. That is a complete different animal. That's a totally different thing. So that has to be said, you guys. And you have to know how to distinguish it. So that's why, I, like on this channel, that's that's one of the th major things I do is like always distinguishing what is BS and what is not BS. You know, always always being able to distinguish and put the finger on what is someone's intent and what is not their intent, and what is a, like what is a, a motive and what's not. And then what actions someone is doing, like really, and what actual actual cause this is having on society, or not. And I and I don't really like I don't cherry pick, because I keep it real. I don't cherry pick. You know, when I talk about things, I talk on what actual is a threat and a problem, and what's not. You know, and what you guys need to understand is. I know you guys understand, anyone watching this video, like, that's actually watching and understands, you, you would understand, but I feel like there's some people that, you know, they, they, like, they, and I'm very conservative myself, but the thing is, a lot of these people that are, are very conservative, <laughs> you, you guys, like, I know some of you guys know what I'm saying is true, but the only reason why you're saying something counter to that is because you're trying to get views. Let's just be real. You know, it, it, it's the views game. It's like, oh, they covered the Adam 22 story. I'm about to cover it and I'm going to go in, you know, and I'm going all the way in. It's like, okay, here we go. With this, you guys are going to drag these people through the mud, you know, and, and that's something that like, I'm not really about on this channel and, you know, like I really could be a lot more critical when I talk about people, groups, and things on this channel that I am, but, but I real like I said, again, I realized there's a point where, like, there's no reason to, and you're just venting at that point, that's all you're doing, like, you're just venting, or you're just getting on a moral high horse, or you're just, you know, and at that point, you know, there, there's limits, now, when it's something serious that has to be talked about, like, it's something that's always so swept under the rug to the point to where it's like, okay, people keep sweeping this under the rug, that's when I feel like it's my place to come in and that that's when I come in and say things is when people keep like sweeping something under a rug or trying to be sly or trying to you know and I, no that that's when I say something but for a situation like this thing that I'm talking about now um you know uh come on guys you already know in in, in the you know, I had a couple videos, you know, prior to this, and it was talking about, like, um, issues that certain people have in the dating realm. You know, um, certain, certain, um, issues people have in the business world. You know, certain, certain things that <laughs> us in the black community, or, or black culture, things that need to change in our culture that are toxic, okay? Now, you have to be honest, us as black people have contributed so much to the culture of the adult film industry. Like, like, huge amounts that we've contributed to that. All you need to do is go look, look up on, online and go watch some damn porn. That's all I have to say. That's all I can say. It, it sounds dumb to say it like that, but that's actually the truth. So, if you want to talk about the hip-hop, uh, industry, music industry, we've contributed almost just as much to the adult film industry, okay? Our culture, integrated into that. Um, so, look guys, <laughs> and I'm not saying that, like, to brag, I'm just, I'm just keeping it real, I'm just saying what it is. You know exactly, that, that, that's the case, so. Um, well, all I'm saying is this, though, is... There has to be like a distinguishing between what is good and what is bad, okay? Uh, we know that a business can be toxic. We know that. We know that things that are put in the wrong hands of the wrong people can always be toxic, blown out of proportion, and used inappropriately. We know that, you guys. You you know that. It's, it's very easy to, to see how that can be done, how something can be taken and then use way out of context, right? But in my opinion, most of what I see that's going on in these communities and stuff, and um, 
with some of these content creators that are sometimes some of them are ridiculed you know um nothing is really in my opinion is is inappropriate it's not there they keep it in an adult realm it stays where it's supposed to be and it's a business and they're making their money and they're keeping it moving and if that that's just fine see you can't knock that you know you can't you can't try to like uh say much about that so <laughs> you, you know <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm even. I'm even the guy to ridicule some people that have like these bad. They have like these bad porn stories or whatever. Like they like. Oh, I used to be a porn star or whatever, and then like, you know, she'll say something like, "Oh, I had to do this night." No, no, you didn't have to do anything. You the thing was, you tried something, and you had a negative experience. I always say this: like, anyone can have a negative experience with things, people, and places due to either them making a bad choice or the people that uh, took advantage of them or the people that they allowed to be in business with. That they allow these people to do things to them or to be around them or X, Y, Z instead of, you know, because let's just face it, us as human beings are beings that are like, uh, how do I say this? You, you you try to take dangerous risks, you know? You have, like, a curiosity or something. It's like these girls that say, okay, well, you know, I wanted to get into the... <laughs> I wanted to get into porn because, like... <laughs> you know, and it's like thinking, like, okay, all right, but then, like, is that really you? It's like questions you have to ask these people, like, is that really you? Is that why you got into that? Is I always love to ask people that, like, it's it's because because this is a problem people have when you when something is not authentically yourself, you're setting yourself up for failure. That that's one thing. Second, okay, what are your motives and your real intentions? Like, you have to be honest with yourself. You know, I've heard girls say the craziest stuff. Say stuff like, "Oh, they they wanted to punish themselves." Bitch, if you want to punish yourself, go in a closet and hit yourself in the back with a belt like any normal fucking person. If you really think you want to punish, quote, yourself, I don't know, stick your fingers in a, in, in the, 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 a flame on the stove real fast and pull it out before it gets burned and keep doing it and, and like some shit. Like, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. All I know is this is if you're going to do some, if you want to punish yourself, you could do that yourself. You don't need to have people. You don't need to put yourself in on in front of cameras and take dicks to your face and all this stuff to to like what are you talking about? It sounds like bullshit to me. That's what I'm saying. It's like you know, but then again, this is my whole point. Um, to be able to tell what is bullshit and what is not. You know, are you mad because you weren't successful? Are you mad because? Was it just sheer greed? Is that really the, 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 was that the real factor? Was it that the money was fast? Was it that you actually liked sex? Was it that you were actually a kinky person and you decided that you really wanted to do this, but then you're at war with part of yourself that you actually did this with these men. You know, it's like, she's like, oh, well, and I don't remember this, there, I don't remember her name, but it was this particular girl that had the story. I'm thinking like, Look here, um, are you just simply at war with what you, like, because we all regret things that we did. Now, I'm not trying to brag, but luckily, every woman that I've slept with was, was hot. I mean, they were, they were really hot. You know, they were, they were hot. I enjoyed it. I'm not ashamed of it. It was fun. We both enjoyed it. I didn't have, I never had any bad sexual experiences. So I don't, I can't come from any, I, I can never say that nothing, there's nothing I ever did that I did not thoroughly enjoy and did not have to work hard to even get to that point to be there. That's me, that's my experience. So I have no, you know, but some of you people, it's like, oh, you know, you I'm thinking like, oh, okay, so t tell me this, tell me, like, why did you even put yourself in that situation for real? Don't lie to yourself. And say like, oh, you know, I'm not that per. Well, maybe you're not that person, but the thing is, this is something in you thought that you would try to be that person. Okay, 
and now you have these regrets because like I said there's a conflict there's some strange conflict in, in, in I know one part of it is because you know you are on the internet and you are out there and people may recognize you and businesses may and all this stuff like I get that part like I get it but if it's that just say it you know that's the problem with a lot of this, and I'm gonna close soon it's pro that's that's why I always say is like the problem with most things in society with people with their disorders and things is is just a, a deny it's like a denial factor it's a factor of like you can't even begin to move forward because you can't you're not honest about anything you know you're you just you're in denial with everything it's always it's a game of you're you're, you're playing games with your own self because you're really just only lying to yourself so you're fooling yourself you're not fooling anyone else you know you got people on the internet laughing at you because of the things you're saying they would respect you more if you were to just say hey I was going through a wild period in my life and uh I enjoyed you know some shit some shit I did and you know <laughs> if you said some shit like that like you know you're like but you know I changed my mind like I decided I didn't want to be that person and I really don't want that image of me being that person out of that you know if you said it like that you could have a lot more up th there'd be a lot more respect for you there but but no but see but you know what like I always say too it's it's not my place to like tell you how you should or how it's not my place you know I can commentate on it to a degree but it's not really my place even to get on a high horse and try to say like how you should this and how you should that that's your own decision and that's like lessons that you need to actually learn yourself so with all that being said that is why on this channel um we don't demean or really uh we don't bash certain people in certain professions or certain things like i don't target certain people because i understand like you know what's really what's really going on you know what i mean like it's not like it's not a big thing it's not even it's not a bad thing though it's only certain people that i know are really bad individuals or corporations and things and people that you know have a um certain impact on society that's just not good you know what i mean and, and they're just it, it's it needs to be talked about but that no there's nothing nothing wrong going on there so uh it's been fun you guys um this rant went on a little longer than i wanted it to <laughs> um I may link some videos, some popular videos, or, or just some videos into the, uh, into this rant. Um, you know, more is to come. I'm going to be trying to do different type of things with videos in, in the future. Um, and I would just appreciate it, you know, if you're new to this channel, or even if you're not new, you know, just hit the bell, hit the like leave a positive comment i have to laugh because somebody commented on an old older video of mine they said something i forgot what was this video even on uh if i could remember oh i think i was reading it's the saints because i'm satanist you know i was reading the satanic bible and someone left a a, a freaking uh scripture <laughs> like they left something some some one of these i think it was a john chapter or something I'm thinking like oh my god here we go the christians again here we go with these guys. And then this person has enough nerve to have a kitten as their avatar picture. Like, they don't even have your their actual face up. They got a kitten as an avatar. And they're leaving a scripture. I'm thinking, like, so I got a scripture from a kitten? Like, that's kind of retarded. Like, it's kind of hard for me to get as mad as I would or annoyed if if it's a picture of a freaking kitten leaving. But, but look, regardless... Don't leave the stupid, so stupid. Uh, come on, guys. That, that, it's just, it's just pointless. Like, what are you doing, leaving a scripture comment? It's kind of comical. But um, you know, like I said, if you're gonna comment, leave a good comment. Um, if you're gonna comment, maybe leave like a suggestion of something you want me to cover. I told you guys before, I cover uh, cryptozoology stuff. I talk on. So maybe if you want me to talk about a certain type of cryptid. You want me to talk on my view on a certain type of uh, paranormal phenomenon or something, or, or something um, that is occult uh, based, or whatever. Or if you want to, you want a specific opinion on a cover story, or if you want 
to send into my email if you want to send in a story that is a personal story of your own, but you want me to tell it or, you know, uh, on this channel, you know, that's exactly what I'll do. But, uh, come on, guys, with the stupid comments and, and the Jesus comments, like, yeah, I know, bro. <laughs> that kid, it's hilarious. It's annoying, but that was actually funny, but, but stupid, you know, on that person's part. Um, so, this is your host, Steve from the back. Um, until next time, have a good one, you guys.